y equals 3x plus 1 over x. Find the x coordinate of the point where the gradient is zero. Yes, my handwriting is bad, shut the fuck up. When we're dealing with the gradient of a curve, it's differentiation. I've mentioned this a thousand times before, do not forget it. So gradient, curve, we're gonna differentiate this shit, but before we do it, we wanna make it look nicer because we do not like this. This is not a nice thing to differentiate. So let's first of all write it as y equals 3x plus x to the minus one. Now when we differentiate, it's dy dx equals three minus x to the minus two, because we bring the minus one down, minus one from the power. So this is the gradient function. That is a gradient at any point. When the grade, it says here, where the gradient is zero. So if this is the gradient function, that has to equal zero. So now this is what we're working with. This is the equation that we need to solve. So how about, because this is a negative x to the minus two, let's add it over to that side. So we got three equals x to the minus two. Now we like negative powers when we're differentiating. We don't like negative powers when we're having to manipulate expressions. So let's actually change that to three equals one over x squared. Then what we can do is times the x squared up there, divide the three down there, and we've got x squared equals a third. Then we can square root both sides. I'm skipping a couple of steps here because I'm almost running out of space. But once we get x squared equals a third, we can then square root it, and it will be x equals plus or minus the square root of a third. Now it's important we do the plus or minus there because, well, whenever we're square rooting something, we need to do plus or minus, but also it gives us a clue. Find the x coordinate of the points. Fucking points, plural. There's gonna be more than one. That's where it's plus or minus. 